Hello friends, I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. Welcome to my crafty space where I hope you'll find something useful. Um, today is a bit of planning and putting some simple things together. Um, the Autumn Grateful Journal. Um, we did this uh, putting the, the fabric on for the spine and we did the matting <clears throat> and I carried on with that. Um, placing the other mats um, so they're in now and I've been planning doing some things so I'm gonna put some stuff together and I thought I would bring you along with me as I did that I did one of the flips in but uh, um, I haven't put this one in yet and I think I better do this part first because if I don't all these clips and stuff will get in my way of putting this into that, uh, sliding it into the pocket. Does that make sense? So let's do this one up here. I'm, uh, I'm always planning things. I have to get it sorted out in my, in my mind, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. And then I do it. I hope that makes sense, but you know, that's the way I do it. Um, so this is going to be a top um, opening little hiding, hidden writing spot, um, and it's going to be a tuck as well. So, um, let's put this down. This, don't glue this part. So, <laughs> that's for me, just so you know. I talk to myself a lot. We have great and glorious conversations. I don't always agree with myself, so there you go. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, a, I guess, the way I process. Um, because sometimes I think I've got a great idea, and then I change my mind. And so that way I don't agree with myself all the time. But that's progress, isn't it? It's how you create ideas and plan things out. All that kind of stuff. Okay, so now we're going to put, get on there, let me give that a roll, excuse my reach. <sighs> Just want it to get good and settled on there. And, of course, you know, I'm going to put the Velcro as soon as I find the other side of it. <laughs> Where did I put the other side? Oh, no. Oh. I think it fell over. Wait a minute. Ah, excuse me. Yep, it did. <laughs> uh, sometimes things go ways you don't want them to go, you know? Okay, so we're going to put the Velcro dot. I like doing Velcro. It's a thing. And it's handy. Alright. Put those two together so that they will meet where they need to meet. Okay, now which way do I want the... I guess it doesn't matter, really. Okay, I'm gonna sit it there. Stay. And then squash it over. Um, so that'll hold it there, and it's almost an optical illusion, like you don't know it's there, because you hide something up in under there, and you think, oh, that's just a little tuck spot. Well, yeah. Also, it's a writing spot, so yeah. Okay, so this is one of those things that you put on and it's got its uh, mirror image or the, uh, not quite a mirror image, I mean, because it's not flipped or anything. It's just over itself. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to put this down. Um, and I did the thing where I put the lace behind it instead of on the top. Because I like the look of it coming out. And it gives it a little bit of a rustic feel to have that inked edge around where you fussy cut that out. Um, or it does to me. So that's why I did that. Um, so yeah, it'll go there. And I'm only going to do from here to here so that I have a wide opening. I didn't put the double stick tape on this because... I don't think it's needed, so I'll just put a lot of extra glue, um, and I think that'll be fine. It's not, uh, 
it's not too dangerous I don't think and if it if it does happen to pop off um, in construction I'll uh, I'll just go redo it but I think it'll be fine with just the glue because this is really strong glue once it sets up it's it's there okay so we've got that <laughs> I think that's pretty 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 uh, it gives a couple of little tuck spots um, and this is where the signature is going to go so you don't want to put too much getting in your way there right so give that a moment because it's it's through the crocheted lace and paper and all that stuff um, and it just needs to you know get settled okay so we've got that and I'll check on it in a little while um, so next we're gonna go ahead and put this in um, okay I've got a side tuck that I'm gonna put on it but I'll put this in first uh, okay I'm getting too many things in my own way okay now all right we're gonna get this um, like I did the other one uh, in a journal before I'm going to go around this um, place where it has the supposed <laughs> adhesive on it, you know, where you would moisten this and seal up a letter. Uh, with craft paper or craft paper envelopes, you, uh, you really need some extra because... Uh, it it will let go easily uh, but it's to me I like it I like the look of it so I use it <laughs> and and I know what I'm gonna have to be dealing with I guess so I just put extra and don't worry about it too much you know so okay we've got this and this is gonna be sticking in this pocket here right right into there and it's going to be my lovely flap I want it to be folded and all the way snugged in there before I press anything down because <laughs> I want it to be all the way in uh, now this side will be still open okay so I'm not closing the pocket off I'm just putting this in there okay so as before I have the a uh, little bit of double-sided tape that I stuck in there to help give me some extra security because I want this to look like it's just a I don't know seamless bit of whatever I don't want it to look like I joined it I want it to look like it's just folded or whatever I want it to be sealed up good okay I want it to be sealed up very good. Yep. All the way down through there. And you do have to get a little firm when you're doing this. You do. Um, because it's, uh, it's a little bulky, especially since I put the other pieces in first. Maybe I should have just moved them out. It's fine. It's done now. Okay, so now you see that is completely sealed down. And it's in there where it's supposed to be. Now let me get this figure back out. Okay, so. <sighs> Alright, we've got that in. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so. And if I need to put something else there, I can always put some fabric or whatever. I don't want to put anything if I don't have to. I think it'll be fine. It looks good. I think it looks good. Okay, so we're going to do this um, side tuck on here. I'm always making myself notes everywhere. <clears throat> so it's going to go on somewhere here. What's holding on? Okay, 
So it's going to go here. Now it doesn't hit all the way to the end of the end of the page, and I'm okay with that. It's just a tuck. It's not a a whole, you know, thing. All right. So we've got our double stick tape on there already. And Yeah. These are just pieces from the kit that I'm trying to do some simple things uh, to keep it to to get a good foundation because I'm going to do some elements of course you know I have to make flippy things and pockety things and hidden writing spaces and all sorts of stuff like that but sometimes you want to get some of the foundational pieces in and then save your spot for other things like I put my sticky note back there that I'm going to put a photo flip in the back because that's the perfect place for that and uh, I don't want to accidentally forget that I was going to do that because <laughs> yeah I can do that I can do it I can forget I was gonna and then you know then I think, oh, I was going to put that there, you know. And then I won't because I put something else there in the way. So, you know, stuff happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So now we've got a little bit of tape sticking out there. Okay. All right. Now we've got our side tuck in here. We'll give that a little time to settle. I do back these on um, file folder to give them some sturdiness because you know I do like the sturdy. All right, we've got we've got that settling in. Now we've got another one. <laughs> okay, I do a lot of planning and then I do a lot of doing. All right, <laughs> this one this time I'm going to make a belly band. Um, and I know I lose the the big mushroom in the middle, but I'm okay with that. It's uh, it's over here on this other page as well. So and I can bring it in as elements as well. So anyways, I still have the. This is a belly band, okay? <laughs> it's what I'm saying. Okay, like I said, foundational pieces, and then you move on with your elements and your different things. Um, that you're going to put in so you know where certain things are where they're going to be and um, and then you can just create and do pretty stuff I want to do another one of those folded um, hidden writing spaces to make another belly band in another place but I'm working on a um, a freebie digital to excuse me I have to I have to think and and do stuff <laughs> talking is hard anyway <laughs> it is um, anyways at least coherent talking is hard when you're doing something like that um, so anyways uh, I'm working on a, a freebie digital to make that out of uh, and I haven't quite finished it I'm tweaking it. I've got it started. So I'm going to make a fold out <clears throat> writing spot belly band in another place. Uh, and that's going to be quite a nice one there. But don't be fiddling with it till it gets all settled. Okay, that way. Sheesh. And then that way. All right. So, um, hope you guys aren't confused. Sometimes I get into this one, I go, oh, this way, this way, this way, no, that way, you know. Okay, so we've got our front cover on. I'm still thinking about that fussy cutting. I think that'll be nice. Um, got our flip in and our side tuck in. <laughs> um, and, like I said, our pocket is still open, right? we still got a big spot there. Tuck here, right there. And this one. Okay, that's pretty cool then we've got this as a tuck spot there and then we've got this one big um, pocket 
And this is, I already had this one in because I didn't figure you needed to see me do two of them. Uh, and then we've got our, our belly band in here. So progress, more planning, lots of things going on with this one. Gonna be super, super gorgeous. This one. I just love the fall colors. This is my, I think it's my favorite color palette or something. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I like spring too. Anyways. Uh, there we go. A lot of progress being made. I, I think this is going to be awesome. I love the flippy flappy bits that are going in. Uh, and the two big pockets leaves us um, room to plan uh, a couple of big elements to go in there. Uh, maybe another stationary set. Maybe a little folio. Maybe just some big German cards. Who knows? Anyways, there's lots of room. Lots of lots of things we can do with this still. Lots of things we're going to do with this. So, I hope that was some kind of useful to you. Um... I know my videos have been a little short lately, but <sighs> yeah, you just don't even want to know the background story of that. <laughs> uh, they will get longer. They will get more, um, you know, work done because that's what's going to happen. And um, yeah, we're doing good. Having fun, right? Having fun. Crafty fun is still a thing in my Etsy shop too. If you want to, if you want to go there and get this kit. Um, and don't forget to get the pockets and stuff. I want to do some things with these pockets. Um, I've done this before in some other journals. Now, I haven't got it set up to do in this video, but I want to do like where you put them together and they're sort of crossing over kind of thing. Anyways, I'm going to do something like that with some of these pockets, maybe the smaller-ish ones. But um, don't forget to go get the freebies. Uh, julieworthington.com freebies tab at the top of the page and uh, yeah they're all there just you know get what you want uh, I like to share I like to uh, give things to my friends and stuff um, so if you could find it in your heart to like and subscribe that would be so wonderful and awesome thanks for watching GTFN.